you guys welcome to another vlog <laughs> i'm very excited for today's vlog which is going to be just all of my croatia prep because i am only two days out more like a day and a half because it's already like 1 p.m today until our croatia trip my trip with you guys in case maybe you missed my many times i've talked about this or you're new to the channel um i'm hosting a trip that you guys could book on to this is one of two so this one's going to Croatia, but I do have another one in September that is going to Switzerland and there are, I think, two spots left as of right now. So if you're interested in traveling with me, I will have it linked below. September's kind of shoulder season, so flights are a little bit less expensive than they would have been, you know, in the peak summer travel time. Basically, I'm two days out from this trip. We are leaving on Wednesday at 4 a.m. I am gonna be vlogging um, my full trip between Croatia and then heading to London. So today, first thing thing I need to do is finally try on, I went a little bit crazy, just try on a lot of the clothes I've ordered. I ordered with the intention of returning a lot of it. I need Giselle. Oh, you guys, last night there was this ant in bed all night. I need to find the ant. Hold on. Oh, here's the ant. What? There's an ant in bed with me last night. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just, just looking at the Giselle's brother and his wife just had their baby in the middle of the night. We woke up to the call. Yeah, show me this one. This is new. That's a loud one. Do you want to see all my outfits? Do you want a fashion show? Yeah. Or are you busy? You can have five minutes? Yeah, totally. Um, Giselle's company has the day off today because it is Juneteenth, of course, but since we're gonna be gone forever, she's working. All right, right off the bat, I think I got something good. So I got this in black and this just like light color. Um, and it's just a little midi skirt. I would wear this with like a cropped white tee. I'm not gonna style every outfit at the moment. And I would put some Spanx on under, um, but I just think it's so cute. And then just like wear with some sneakers and this will be a casual daytime fit. But this feels very comfy, like it's not restricted, but yet at the same time, it doesn't feel like super then so everything i show in this is going to be linked below trial number two i think i'm on a roll um these are reformation so they're definitely not the cheapest but i just wanted some good pants i have these in black as well and i knew they were going to fit me well and be quality so these are just their petite length i'm 5'2 for context and i just thought this like blue color was a good like beachy option all right we're taking a little pause on the outfit try-on, so we will resume right after. <laughs> the guy just got here to hang our TV in the living room, so I will show you that right after. I thought I would take this time to just have kind of a little chat about just how I've been feeling lately. If you're sensitive to body image conversations, kind of, I will have the time that you can skip to in this video or you can X out, all good. I just want to kind of talk about, you know, some real things on how I've been feeling so that maybe if any of you guys are relating, then you can know you're not alone or maybe you guys can give me some good advice or maybe something in this will resonate with somebody. I'm definitely having a harder time than usual with like just having negative thoughts about my body as unfortunately as women like every time you know we grew up to go on a trip like we've been indoctrinated since we were as long as we can remember <laughs> you know just you hear people all the time talking about like dieting before their big vacations and needing to look you know so good in your swimsuit and whatever oh shoot caroline just called me hey all right, just had a 30 minute phone catch up. As I was saying, I'm not above being hyper aware of my body going into a trip. I wish I weren't that way. I can rationally try to get myself out of that place, but it doesn't stop the fact that like, I do have those thoughts and I find myself just extra aware of, you know, maybe my size compared to past versions of myself. That's what I've noticed about myself. It's not so much like, oh, I log on Instagram and I'm comparing myself to other people and like, it makes me feel negatively fortunately that has never really been the case it's more of like i'm trying on these clothes and you know things are fitting a little differently like I've, that's actually why i got a bunch of clothes i just struggle with comparing myself to like past versions of myself that like i felt more confident in i think it's additionally like kind of frustrating but at the same time i think i have more acceptance about it because as you guys may know if you've kept up with my content for like all of 2023 like i mean the past month or so has been just crazy with all the house stuff but like I've been just in such a good place with my working out just like with all of my lifestyle I've, I've said it before but like thinking of times in the past like years ago when I was as active as I am 
Now I saw my body change. I just kind of expected like with doing those same actions that like the result was gonna be the same as it was in the past. And I really feel like my body doesn't look like it did the last time I was like working out a lot, you know? And so it's just been weird of feeling like, I mean, I'm getting older, who knows? I feel like there's so many factors and like at the end of the day, I'm trying not to like stress about that and about like what, you know, I look like. I'm just trying to focus on how much my body has been through in the past year. like. If you guys remember coming back from the big Europe trip last summer, like having these crazy knee problems, being in so much pain, like to the point where I went like months with like hardly any exercise, like heart couldn't move around my house without pain. And I remember like during that time thinking like, if I could just get back to anything I like doing, like going on walks, like going to boxing and like being able to do that pain free, then I, I remember thinking like, I don't ever need to be a certain size. Like I just want to be able to like feel good again. And so I'm trying to like, stay like conscious of you know that mindset at that time because i am so lucky that for like all of this year for the most part like i haven't experienced any of those knee problems again and like i can do all the things that i love to do again that really at the end of the day should be enough I, yeah i don't know i guess i just want to get on here and say i'm having a bit of a difficult time going into this trip knowing i'm going to be in swimsuits when i just don't feel the best at the moment, you know, gonna do it anyway. And I think another thing that is helping me get to like a more positive mind space is just how excited, like genuinely excited I am for this trip. Like Giselle and I last year traveled so much that I feel like, you know, when you're just going one thing to the next, like nonstop, you kind of not lose the appreciation for it. But like in this time of not traveling much this year, like all we've done in 2023 was go visit my family, her family. I haven't had a big like trip adventure like this in so long. So I'm just really so excited to be there. And I am hoping and trying to get in the mindset of like when I'm there, just like being so thankful to be there and like focusing on having fun and like getting to know people and like really just enjoying the moment above focusing on what I may feel about like my body and what it looks like, you know? I don't know. Feel free to hype me up on any Instagram photos I may post because uh probably gonna Oh, I feel like that's like something that tends to like bring negative thoughts to is like whenever I take photos. Anyways, that's my chat. Um, I'm gonna do some cleaning up around here so I can find all the clothes that need to get washed, need to do a bunch of laundry. And then yeah, I'll show you guys the TV once he's done and continue with the try-ons. All right, here she is. We haven't figured out all of the art yet. I actually don't know anything about this. Giselle is the one who um, got it all set up interesting thing always something you know <laughs> the guy like leveled the tv but he was saying that like the lines in this fireplace are not level which we also learned with like the windows when the blinds guy was here he was like some of this is not level so it like at some angles it like looks a little crooked more so at the bottom like the bottom part oh but i don't know what art we're gonna put is what i'm saying like here you know it's like that width but then over here, I don't know if you can even tell, it's definitely wider. Maybe it's not even the stone. Maybe it's the ceiling that's angled. So we need to do some tweaking and find out if we actually need to make this like a little bit crooked in order to look like it's straight, even though it's all an illusion. So here is what that looks like. I'm so excited. Next task is getting all of this cleaned up. Three, two, one. All right, things are looking much better. I still have some products here. Um, then I said oh, I'm gonna pack some of those. This box is just full of books. So that's not my priority right now. I just wanted to get all of, like my bathroom stuff and clothes unpacked. All right, you guys, it is now the next day. <laughs> Yesterday just got away from me. I ended up having a lot of stuff I needed to edit. If you haven't noticed, I've had a lot of like sponsorships go up recently. Um, a lot of things that had timing that got pushed back. Things that have been in the works for like weeks and, or even like months that have just gotten pushed back and are all going up at the same time. So yesterday I ended up being editing vlogs and trying to get thumbnails made for all these that are gonna go up when I'm in Croatia. Today I've been running around like a mad woman. I am sweating. It's already like 2 p.m. Giselle and I have so many errands to run today, including going to deposit our mortgage for the first uh, month's payment, which isn't until July 1st, but if you're curious, but we're obviously gonna be gone then. So we have that. Don't mind all the ring camera stuff right now. I've been charging stuff up all day. Originally gonna go get my nails done today. We'll see if time allows for that. At this point, I'm thinking I need to 
run by like CVS and get some nail polish because I don't know where any of mine is. Um, I just do it myself or like at the airport tomorrow or something. I get to be one of those weirdos. I want to self tan today. Like on the subject of the chat yesterday, I really intended to like think of a couple things that I could do to like, you know, give me some confidence, make me feel a little bit like, you know, a step above the average day to day. Like I haven't had my nails done in like a month and a half. I mean, I want to like, you know, feel a little tan or whatever, but we'll see what time allows for. But right now I'm clearly like repping all the, the teams in this video. I'm gonna do a quick little try on haul, a complete little revolve haul because they sent over a whole package of items. So thank you so much to them. All right, so first up, I already know I'm gonna love this top. I have not tried it on yet because I have it in long sleeves as well. I in like a light, pink color similar to this, as well as in black. And this has been my go-to, like when it's chillier, I would wear this top all the time out to dinner and stuff. So it's all they had a short sleeve version. And I just think this is so cute with like some white pants and some heels for like a little summer dinner. Next, definitely gonna pack this for a cover up top. Um, so I just got, I'm pretty sure I was in like a, yeah, a large. So just this little striped lightweight button down. I don't think this is gonna wrinkle. Um, really, which is great for packing because a lot of times like shirts I have like this um, that are more linen get super wrinkly, but this isn't linen. It's like a, I don't know, it's more lightweight. So this will be a really cute for a swim cover up. Next, another fun swim cover up. So this is a little sarong, little tie around moment. Um, just this sheer mesh going on. I got a swimsuit this color I need to try on. So if that fits well and I like it, then th this would be a really cute set together. So we'll stay tuned on that. Next, this is a risk because anything that is like long pants or jumpsuity, anything jumpsuit usually does not work for me. I feel like I have a much shorter torso than the average person. We'll see how this looks once I pull the waist up to my actual waistline, but this is just a really comfy jumpsuit, like a very, very, very soft material, it feels like. Similar to the inside of sweatpants, like when they're brand new, like that feeling, except not at all that like fleecy, just like a thin layer. So we'll see how that looked. I'm trying all these on after the fact, so you guys will see if these work or not. Next up, I'm treating this as a cover-up vibe. I don't know if this is what it's meant for, but I'm actually thinking I'm gonna save this um, for our Mexico trip, not actually for Croatia. Again, same kind of vibe, like a Croatia skirt, a Croatia, a crochet. <laughs> Just ties here at the top. We have a really high leg slit. And then it comes with this matching tank top. The tank top portion is what makes me wonder, is this supposed to be like a real outfit? You know, people like the Insta baddies wear like things under their sheer fits. A couple final items here. First, I was feeling just risky, you guys. Like I like all of these <laughs> as items and on the model, but I'm nervous for how they're all gonna look on me. But I picked out this top, which is so like outside of what I would normally shop for, I feel like. I feel like anytime pearls from North, from North Carolina, it's giving Southern. <laughs> this is just like a really thick, high quality feel to it. Nearing the end here, this actually is not gonna be a Croatia fit unless I wear this at the airport or something, um, but it's just a little cropped black tee. There's like a pocket detail here that's not really gonna show up, but just a really comfy, like quality cropped black t-shirt. And then lastly, for some shoes, I've been in the market for some comfy sandals or comfy footwear in general. So I just saw these sandals, thought that these would be cute. They could be dressed up or dressed down. I'm not probably, maybe I'll pack one pair of heels, but I don't know, I feel like Croatia is definitely a very casual place from when I was there the last time. So again, thank you so much to Revolve. They're not paying me for this. They just sent it over. I wanted to include it. I'm gonna get to packing and then Giselle and I have a bunch of errands to run. And how good does this TV look? We're trying to figure out the brightness like right now I think it's a little bit bright we had it on like a auto motion thing or no that's additional if there's not movement in here which I'm like is it watching us or supposedly it's just a motion sensor hopefully not a camera but it'll turn off when no one's in here after a certain amount of time so I was sitting really still on the couch earlier and it turned off additionally it has like a brightness sensor but with these windows open earlier it wasn't like brightening moral of the story I don't know anything about this TV okay additionally so this is from Princess Polly and this is a really cozy cover-up it's funny because I ordered a ton of bathing suits. I ended up really liking one of them. <laughs> um, I have a couple that are maybes. This is one of them, but I feel like I'm gonna have to bring it because it matches all of my cover-up sets the most. is now packed. I am thoroughly impressed with myself. 
with how much I got in this carry-on, I didn't even expand it because the last time we were just flying to my family on the East Coast, but I'd expanded my carry-on and they made me check it because they said it was too big. And I'm like, I have flown with it 12,000 times expanded. It's just like the base normal carry-on suitcase. So now I'm worried. I don't want to have to check my bag because we have three flights tomorrow. I have a ton of dresses, a bunch of basic tanks. I'm waiting on a couple more that are in the dryer, some dressy tops. I got these little water shoes because we're going to go swimming in these waterfalls in Croatia, the Kirka waterfalls, which I've done before, and it's very rocky. So I gave everyone a heads up that if they feel like getting some water shoes, you might thank yourself later. Um, my favorite little brown comfy heels, my sandals I got for this trip, and then over on this side, I have some t-shirts, swimsuits, cover-ups, and then pants and shorts in this packing cube, and then I have some just tiny last minute things, and then I'll pack my backpack with um, my toiletries and everything else. She's on me tomato basil soup, and we're watching Queer Ultimatum. What do you guys think of the show? <laughs> We've been so into it. I think I'm gonna iPhone sign it off from here. We're heading out here in five hours, six hours. Yeah. We still need to like clean up the house. I'm almost unpacking. Giselle's not unpacking. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm you're done? done? Yeah, I'm almost done. She packs for like five minutes and she's done. I'm not done. I need to shower, I need to paint my nails, I need self tan, and I'm just really down with the wire here. I am pretty proud of myself. I've squeezed a ton of outfits into that suitcase. Coming up next is going to be my Croatia vlog, probably gonna be at least two parts, I would assume, so keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, you can follow along on Instagram and TikTok for my in-moment trip content, and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs>